Professor Isaac Ol Oloyede, Registrar of JAM, warned the Nigerian universities against admitting underage students, calling it illegal and harmful to the nation's integrity. At the conference in Lagos, team effective university governance, rule of stakeholders, Oloyede cited a case where a 15 year old applied for a postgraduate course abroad, raising co concerns about the integrity of Nigerian's education system. He stressed the need for accountability and data protection. Professor Ibrahim Gambari emphasized that state universities should improve to attract top facility, faculty, and students. St. Joshua La Lidane highlighted various challenges in the university system, including corruption, inadequate funding, and frequent strikes, urging stakeholders to enhance governance and standard in tertiary education. Um, last, that was last, some months back when uh, students start, sat for JAM. It was very clear, the registrar of JAM said that uh, they should not admit any student that is below 18 into universities. Well, students raise alarm. That is, that, that's going to be disturbing. It means that our children are going to stay at home for a year or two before entering university. And now looking at it, a 15-year-old student, a graduate, has gone to apply for postgraduate outside country. And for them to even, uh, to, for them to call, like, call Nigeria, call uh, him, uh, that is uh, uh, Sadiq, I suppose, Isaac, asking how come, questioning the integrity of education in Nigeria. It means that they were not actually out of the tract when they said nobody should, no school should admit. But as it stands now, it is also realized that majority of these underage students that are in school did not pass through JAM. We know that there are tendencies that some of them could go and forge their age or something. But this particular one is through a diploma, a diploma studies and all of those. And I remember I get admission once through that. So what do you think about that? Should I also check me that if you're coming to do diploma in school, in universities, you should be up to a certain age because there, there are tendencies that one could get admission. What do you think about yeah, this? I think... Um it's uh, a call. Of course, it's already deserted. It's a, it's a standing position for JAM that um, uh, once you are below 16, below 15, you can't even sit for the exam. But there again, you know, Nigeria has to help people bypass uh, uh, rules and protocols. Uh, at the uh, conference was apparently centered around state-owned uh, institutions, university, where a particular state, uh, upon application to admit, I think last year, the current last year, the there was an open window of 9,000 uh, diploma uh, course to be admitted by by the university of, through JAM and then. Uh, a school itself, I think somewhere in the north, had about uh, 3,000 candidates alone. Um, it's a call because it has a ripple effect. And uh, it's, uh, I think a stakeholder should see it as a critical matter because in the long run it will affect uh, the quality of our education where you are pursuing moral and then you are pursuing academic excellence and uh, for for us here in nigeria we play importance also for moral value and also when you see persons who are coming forward for uh, the academic pursuit in the university you also want to uh, benchmark a age bracket with it i, I remembered we are in the time where parents want to push their children. Yours sincerely is also guilty about that. Mm. You know, want to put the children, oh, so that you can actually have that bragging right. He enter or she enter at any age. Uh, before now, he's already in secondary school, you know. And then you now go to Senate clan, clan, you know, clan, where 
uh, you get to certain age before you are even admitted even at the elementary school you know i think that was on years ago where there's this uh, when they were doing the what's the curriculum is it uh, three three six six five uh, ad- mm. uh, academic uh, uh, model pattern where you i think it's six six uh, three three or something six six four uh, can't remember the figure, but I know your first uh, mm. elementary six years, then secondary six, six. years, university and then four. four, six is six four. Is four. Yeah, so so you you tend to see that back then you get to a certain age before you gain admission. I remember during our time way back then, I think uh, we were meant to to mm. be enrolled. I think it was in 1983 or so, and then. Uh, because uh, my parents do not have uh, the basic requirement has to be cert- uh, task certificate for me for us to be admitted then you also do this uh, putting mm, your hand crossing your hand. hand so we didn't meet up measure up and when we got eventually measurable so we didn't hang, i think we it was in 1986 or 1985 we were able to scale through that requirement and so i wonder what happened to those that we do out <laughs> so the point is just that uh, if you jump the procedure or the process of nature where these children need to get to a, a minimum mature level before you now expose them to you know tertiary education is about independence you're on your own but there again, these days, because of the kind of job we do, you will see parents still filling forms. But well, don't you think but that's what, that, maybe that's why they have a uh, glorified secondary school, uh, a big glorified university no, or whatever. The point is also the the uh, economic inequalities that we have. Job are not available. Then you have graduates that is available, and there is no system to absorb them. So people will be, begin to improvise, and they will tell you A level class, uh, or the profile, special center, miracle center, etc., etc. Then you also have the system or the government also approving universities so that you can actually cater for the uh, enormous candidate that is ever ready and available to gain admission because. If the existing uh, institution available have a quota of admission, mm. it means that you can mm. imagine the last one yeah, by by 11 million students, you know, applied, and uh, well, and mm. about nine million, and then the the system can only absorb about less than five million. So what happens to the remaining uh, students? So then you begin to look at, uh, and everybody wants to go to university. You know, the other aspect of uh, education, the vocational education, uh, the polytechnic, and then you have this disparity and this uh, uh, segregation that exists. So you won't want uh, uh, you won't uh, blame the uh, uh, jam uh, 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 professor uh, Sodi Isaac, yeah. Isaac uh, who based on. Uh, is experience to sensitizing uh, stakeholders on the need for them to abide by the rules. Because in the long run, it will not put a question mark on the kind of education we are giving to our children. So imagine a 15 year old going for a postgraduate uh, 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 for, for, his, uh, for a master's and then they had to call. <laughs> when did he go to, go to mm. university? I mean, you know, at what age was she able or he, was he able to complete his first degree? Now, you know, so these are things to which uh, concerns persons and stakeholders need to look into. And I know in that conference, uh, matters of such nature were, you know, you know, handled and dealt with. But Mr. Wells, yeah, it's actually questionable for a child of 15 years to apply for postgraduate outside there that they even have to call. But will you say that the children of these days are more smarter than then? Because you see, uh, I mean, you, a child of, uh, let me say, 14 or 12 in a jam hall, writing jam, and the parents will tell you, we just want to try her intellectual, and they will pass everything. Will you say that, and again, there are some um, 
I don't know if I would say special children, the parents would be like, this one has our grown, let's just say nursery one, for instance, you're making reference to it, nursery one, like even if you put the child there, you keep the child in that particular class, she's more smarter and more intelligent than that particular class, so they have to move the child forward. Could it be what is happening now? Is it that the attention that teachers are giving the children now, they didn't have it then, that they, have to, that they used to cross hand in their head? Uh, what do you uh, think? You know, the, I think it's the necessity of the timing. Different space, different demanding. Okay. So that you, your children can effectively compete uh, anywhere in the world. You know, we have feedbacks. We have... Uh, I know of a parent who happens to be a little bit close, closer to us. And uh, all I aim is to push the children so that they can actually win national competitions. Mm. And recently, one of our... I think our first child won an award i think uh, she came out top as a national champion mission so, accomplished yes mission accomplished and bragging right and you can imagine now, taking such a child and do you know that my wife had a side one-on-one -on -one, you know chat with a girl at a point in time and then you can you, she was able to see through that the girl is not really you know happy to what she's doing because the pressure She's is coming from the parents. And it's too much on her. And it's a bit too much on her. Also, you've seen a movie called, what's the name of it? Aquila and the, and the Spelling Bee. Yeah. Where you, you see the, uh, the male guy, the Asian guy, and then Aquila, the pressure and all that. And the three children got in, get into finance, and then who's going to step down. But the children have to just deduce a means to improvise that. It's all about win. Everybody is a winner. This competition from parents that my child will be the top, oh, this bargain right is intelligent. I think in my first, in my son's school recently, they called our attention that we should allow him to jump basic four mm. so that he can actually take common entrance and all that stuff. Mm. So uh, the pressure both for school administrators, uh, the parents, everybody is a culprit in this case. They everyone want to get, uh, you know, oh, it's our school, we have a track record of excellence. Then the parents also want to have, oh, the value of the kind of school fees you put. Then you begin to push these children against their will. We've seen persons who, who after four, year, four years of uh, finishing their course in the university and say, Daddy, Mommy, this is your certificate, this is what you want me to give. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually then saying then that. You, and then I cannot pursue my dream, you know. So uh, some of these things, you will see that people... Uh, maturity plays an important role and um, value uh, the long run both for our society and uh, to, to, to the nation. So it's, it's not going to be a self-centered interest that, oh, I want my son to be because I was unable to do this during my time, so I want my son or my children to do the same. Now, parents ask to come to terms that the world has evolved. And it is this uh, 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 evolving state of the world that, and the demanding of the timing. Yes, sophistication is setting in, pressure is setting in, demand is setting in, but there again, we must not forget our root. We must not forget that life itself is all about process, level by level. So when you allow these children to go through the level, and then, you know, Michael Jackson eventually died, uh, owing to it was having this regret that he was robbed off of his child. His child wound. Mm. You know, this thing has a, a, a way of affecting the psychology of the children, maybe now or in later in the future, or when they were also trying to raise their own home, they're having issues with interrelationship, with people having issues with how to handle certain busy pressure of life. And some who probably can uh, predispose to that kind of pressure, they will probably want to come up of handing it all because yes, yeah, it's a sophisticated era, uh, internet is everywhere, so people get access to certain information that apparently is not actually meant for them at, at, at that uh, you know developmental stage to which they find themselves. So it's all encompassing, and because of the ripple effect of what it will have now, and now then uh, is uh, uh, the prof is making this uh, call, and that. Uh, uh, pro chancellors and uh, chancellors in various universities also should abide by the rule mm. so that we can actually present uh, persons we, we know we can vouch for at the end of the day, whether internationally or locally. All right, this is for parents. Uh, Professor Isaac said it before and he's saying it again that universities should stop admitting 
uh, underage children, you see 15 years has gone to America to go, I mean, you want to be fast. You can't actually be faster than your age and life is in process. Stop pressuring your children to finish school, to be a graduate at 14 years. I mean, it's not making sense. You just mentioned, make reference to uh, what happened to Michael Jackson. Of course, it was on social media. So a lot of persons saw it that he actually regretted not mm. having his childhood. And now he's, I mean, mm. he's trying to go back to it. And that actually cost him because, you know, they started mm. accusing him mm. of no, things. Exactly. Time molestation. Uh, exactly. So you have to be careful. Stop yeah, they pushing them. They do that. They, they, they do they, this. They, 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 they fast track things and at a point in time they now start reducing their, reducing their, their age, age so and all that. What's the pressure all about? Allow them to enjoy life. Allow them to move. It's, life is one step at a time. You can't actually, anything you bypass it will affect you if you don't enjoy it. Enjoy yourself and let them also enjoy themselves. Nobody push you. Remember that, that time. Uh, when it was your time, your hand has to cross over to this other side of the shoulder before you attain to a certain class or better see you start school. But why are you now pushing them this time? Okay, that's an advice. We are singing it again. Schools don't admit any child that is below 18 years. That's from them, not me, though.